Hello friends, welcome to Inside Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a topic that is PSLV.3, POEM third, third version. So in this video, video con components are first one context, we will try to understand then about the POEM3 project and the part of this POEM is a part of the exposed admission. What is that exposed admission and the contribution of the exposed admission we are going to discuss. First, let me explain the concept in this particular topic. So before that, first the context that is ISRO recently announced that they achieved the milestone on 21st March 2021 when the PSLV orbital experimental module POEM3 it met its objective and it re-entered into the earth atmosphere. This is a statement given by the you know like ISRO. First, we will try to understand the concept. What is this POEM? POEM. PSLV observatory, okay, PSLV observatory experiment module, PSLV orbital experimental experiment module, okay, POEM. This is the third time we are testing, that is the reason we are calling POEM 3. So, the main concepts we have to understand in this particular video, they are first, this is regarding why PSLV C58 we are talking about, PSLV C58, then POEM, POEM 3, then re-entry into earth surface, re-entry into earth surface, what is this all about, re-entry into earth surface, this is the keyword in this particular topic and finally the keyword is space debris, space debris, meanwhile tell me students, outer space treaty it was made in which year? Outer Space Treaty. It was signed in which year? Okay. Try to tell. So these are the three keywords, four keywords, PSLV C58. First, so PSLV C58 through this India launched ExpoSat. India launched ExpoSat, which is specifically, which is specifically to observe, to observe X-ray, X-rays in earth atmosphere, X-rays in earth atmosphere. So this is ExpoSat and this is which category? It is a PSLV. You know that PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launching Vehicle. Normally PSLV involves, PSLV involves four stages that you have to understand. Okay. It involves four stages. First three stages, first three stages, they will burn and they will fall into the you know like earth earth atmosphere earth atmosphere they will fall back to the earth atmosphere and the fourth stage it plays very important role in the satellite placing satellite placing satellite placing okay this is known as this is known as PSLV stage 4 known as PSLV stage 4 normally what will happen after placing the satellite after placing the satellite this PSLV stage 4 normal condition normally normally it remain as space debris it remains as space debris and after certain years it will re-enter into earth atmosphere re-enter into earth atmosphere earth atmosphere and burn okay earth atmosphere and it burns into earth atmosphere so this is a useless normal condition but what we have done that means isro pslv they added pom platform pom3 polar orbital experimental module 3 it was added to the ps4 stage okay the, so this pom what is this so it is about okay satellites it also can carry the satellites but these satellites they cannot come out of this platform that means these are the satellites which stick to this platform. So this platform is attached to PS4. So once the exposat satellite is placed in its you know like designated orbit, then this PS4 its height was lowered because if it is at a height of around 600 kilometers because of that atmospheric drag and everything, it will degenerate very quickly. So this PS4 it lowered around 300 kilometers. Obviously, because the PS4 is attached to the POEM, it will also along with the PS4 that means at around 300 kilometers from the earth surface. 
so POEM platform which is attached to the PS4 it was there for 6 months how many months 6 months whatever the satellites attached okay most of the satellites attached are the you know like you know like these are the space okay space observatory space observatory satellites and uh, and these are the experimental ones experimental ones okay these are the experimental ones the satellites which were added i mean stick to this poem3 platform they they were able to do their research for 6 months that means the research ob objective is achieved point number 1 okay so space observatory and this experimental research objectivity achieved number 1 and after the 6 months this POEM 3 I mean 6 months or 2 or 3 months you can keep whichever the time you like normally it will be around 5 to 6 months but this time we kept only for 3 months because we, we launched this exposat in the month of January after 3 months this PS4 stage it its height further lowered and it re-entered into earth surface it re-entered into earth surface and it uh, you know like it get it it you know like uh, it was collapsed into the ocean okay it hit into the ocean so that means now this ps4 in normal condition it will be in where it will be in the space debris now pslv this ps4 stage it re-entered into the earth's, earth's atmosphere that means there is no space deb debris no space debris no space and debris that means in the space we are not leaving any debris so these are the two objectives we achieved through POEM 3 I hope you understood so we are not leaving out any space debris and uh, and our experiments which requires which requires satellites they don't need to detach from the surf uh, from the platform so those satellite experiments also done so these two objectives been achieved by the POEM 3 so this is about POEM 3 so now POEM 3 it's launched through PSLV C58 along with the Exposat. After the Exposat placed in the orbit, the fourth phase, that means PS4, fourth stage, along with the POEM3, their height is lowered and it was there for a few months. In that time, whatever the experimental satellites which attached to the POEM3, they carried their experiments. Later, they re enter into the space and they collapse into the, so they fall into the ocean this which one this ps4 and pom3 and all these satellites they fall into the ocean that means no space debris left so this is about the pom3 experiment so now pslv3 all these things i explained to you and how many stages are there four stages the fourth stage is the one which introduces satellite into the orbit and this is about the pom2 now pom3 we are talking about pom3 it also equipped with solar panel mounted on the tank of the upper stage so it gives the energy required the I mean fuel energy required for this POEM3 so the experimental satellites which are attached to the POEM3 are radiation shielding experiment module and dust experiment and fuel cell power system and a green impulse transmitter so these are the experimental satellites which which attach to the POEM3 and POEM3 first initially it was this 650 kilometers this PSLV the stage 4 PS4 then it lowered to 350 kilometers and we achieved it without any space junk regarding the PSLV C58 it was the India's first polarimetry mission which launched X-ray polarimeter satellite Exposat I told you PSLV C58 launched Exposat which measures the X-rays it is the world's second dedicated satellite to observe the X-rays okay dedicated satellite first from the ISRO so this satellite it is placed in the low earth orbit and its mission lifespan is five years it observes x-rays which are emitting from the celestial bodies and payloads that exposat consists of polyx is the main payload then expect it is another payload these satellites are developed by Raman Research Institute as well as the UR Rao satellite center they develop this Exposat is the world's second mission dedicated to study the X-rays and the first mission was from NASA, NASA's Amazing X-ray Polarimetry Explorer IXPE. It was launched in 2021. India is the second one. From India point of view regarding the observance of space, to observe the space this is going to be the third one. Previous two ones are 
the first one regarding the astrosat to observe the space and the second one aditya l1 and this is going to be the third space based observatory from india so these three satellites obviously they are going to help significant way for india's astronomy and space related research so x rays here they fit into the electromagnetic spectrum so the electromagnetic spectrum it starts with the longer wavelengths uh, radiation such as radio wave microwave infrared then visible spectrum which consists of of course various wavelength then are followed with the ultraviolet x rays and finally gamma rays this is the electromagnetic spectrum range now let, let's see a study's video question with reference to fao food and agriculture organization consider the following statements it is the world's largest humanitarian organization addressing the hunger and promote, promoting food security not exactly the because the already uno affiliated organizations are there it is specialized agency of the uno s it started the globally important agricultural heritage system s so answer is c 2 and 3 today's video question which of the following is the intention behind the launching netra by isro so which of the following is the intention behind launching netra out of these four pick the right one main question the cornerstone of india's remarkable progress in space journey is its a launch vehicles of course india's launch vehicles plays, played very important role tracing the evolution of isro's launch vehicles analyze their importance to the nation's space journey okay how these these launching vehicles they they help to india's space journey trace their journey of development so this is today's main question as we reach to the end of this video in this video we mainly discussed about povm3 and what is this platform is all about and how i mean what kind of advantages it brought number one is number one is reusable one okay and second one is the second one is regarding it left where less space deb debris and lot of experimental satellites been launched they were help they were they were you know like they got help by being in the space so these are the advantages and we also discussed about the exposat and the dedicated space missions related to x rays so these are the things we discussed in this video and this is the detailed analysis regarding the povm3 i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind